how do you look um, how do you look at segregation and say see segregation is defending us against this 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 threat so that you have hybridity as a threat as we've seen to purity so how do we protect ourselves as the as the dominant class from this threat of hybridity segregation right segregation becomes the means in which we protect ourselves, we, the dominant class, protect ourselves from the threat of hybridity. First point, if power is lost in the mixing of race, and this is a, an argument, right? So the first thing is, if power right, is lost, purity is lost in the mixing of race through miscegenation, right? If power is lost in the mixing of race, and two, and if the mixing of race is facilitated by cohabitation, so here we have power, here we have cohabitation. So if power is lost in the mixing of race, and two, the mixing of race is facilitated by cohabitation, obviously you can't have race mixing here because there, there isn't a possibility for miscegenation in a homogeneous population, right? Miscegenation is only possible in heterogeneous population. Then legal measures must be, uh, legal measures to prevent cohabitation of race decreases the chance of hybridity, right? If we have legal measures in place to prevent the mixing of races, right, then we can prevent hybridity because you and I can't cohabitate. Despite the fact that we do cohabitate geographically, our schools are segregated, our, our dances are segregated, our restaurants are segregated, our water fountains are segregated, everything's segregated. It's less likely that you're going to be able to find yourself in bed with Scary Black Eye, right? Or the, 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 the sex kitten black girl, right? We, we all have our stereotypes. Um, so what we end up doing in this state of affairs is that we implement segregation. Right? So we implement through law, we implement segregation in this state of affairs to prevent the cohabitation because once we, are not the cohabitation, but the miscegenation, right? Um, to prevent the miscegenation of blacks with whites and thus prevent this state of affairs, right? So segregation is used as a tool of preserving purity. Now it doesn't look like we're still talking about this ridiculous notion of purity but what ends up happening is that the law, insofar as it segregates blacks from whites, is protecting itself. The law is protecting the population from uh, interrelation and hybridity, right? Hybridity is seen as a threat. So finally, in four, a decrease in hybridity, right, suggests an increase in white racial purity, right? If we are preventing hybridity, then we are preserving purity. And the way to go about doing that now, right, since the 1940s, um, has only, since 1930s, has only been to, and even before then, um, basically post-scientific enlightenment, has been to segregate the populations, right? Separate but equal. But we recognize that separate but equal is, is, is completely false. Right? So we attempt to separate the populations. In a contemporary sense, we've outlawed, right? The segregation has been outlawed. But as we've seen, there still is an attempt to preserve um, and protect the purity of, now this is way more controversial, right? But there is still a, an attempt to preserve and protect independent to legal segregation and the idea um, that theorists are discussing now and that I myself am interested in is incarceration and criminality, right? If they're locked up in jail, then you don't have to worry about them being in, in the streets and if they're not in the streets, then there won't be this cohabitation, right? So that incarceration becomes the new mode of segregation. Economic and educational disparities become the new mode of segregation. We're over here, you're over there, um, and insofar as we can segregate the populations, we preserve. So there still is an attempt, post-colonial theorists would argue, to preserve purity um, despite the fact that segregation has now been outlawed, but the way we go about preserving that purity is far more insidious, right? It has to be through incarceration, segregation through incarceration, segregation through economic disparity, segregation through um, educational um, disparity, and so on, right? And structural violence. 
So you can't really understand the complexity of this concept without having understood the concepts that I presented in the previous videos. You definitely need to know what structural violence is and how that unfolds. You definitely have to understand the role of um, uh, post-enlightenment race theory um, and obviously post-colonial theory to have an understanding of um, the attempt to preserve purity through a denial of hybridity. It, it, it's technical, but uh, hopefully that was clear. 